disrespectful. Lizzie Cundy discloses Meg's blow to King to keep him from meeting with Archie and Lilibet. Meghan Markle has been accused of having no respect for the monarchy after it emerged, she would not be attending King Charles III's coronation next month. Buckingham Palace confirmed that the ex-working royal is set to remain in California as her and Prince Harry's son Prince Archie celebrates his fourth birthday. However, Lizzie, who claims that the Duchess cut contact with her after meeting Prince Harry, has now blasted her former friend over her utterly selfish decision not to attend the coronation of King Charles III. Lizzie claimed, in particular, that Meghan declined to participate on purpose because King Charles would not listen to Sussex's vile demands, and the Duchess of Sussex believed that King Charles had no regard for her and that he should be punished by not seeing my grandchildren. The date of the eagerly anticipated coronation next month clashes with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's son Archie's fourth birthday, and Meghan has opted to stay behind in her palatial home in Montecito, California, for the big day. Buckingham Palace yesterday confirmed that Prince Harry would be attending solo, which prompted an angry reaction from Lizzie. I think the two of them are utterly selfish, she exclaimed to the mirror. I really do think they should hang their heads in shame. Lizzie continued, I think it's a travesty that Lilibet and Archie are not going to be at their grandfather's coronation. What will Harry and Meghan say to them when they're older? When they say, why weren't we there at the most historical moment in British history? Why weren't we on that balcony? That said, the Sussexes would not necessarily have been on the balcony as they are not working royals, while the two children were not said to have been invited, as they are very young. However, Lizzie added that she could picture the pair's two young children asking in later life, Mummy and Daddy, why did you stop us going? I find it really sad not just for Lilibet and Archie who are going to miss out on the biggest monumental day but for King Charles who yet again won't see his grandchildren and they won't be able to enjoy this special day with him, she mused. The socialite, who is also a trained actress and TV presenter, first crossed paths with Meghan in 2013, when they sat together at a charity event organized by her pal John Cordwell. In a statement, the palace said it was pleased to confirm that the Duke of Sussex will attend the coronation service at Westminster Abbey on 6 May. It added, the Duchess of Sussex will remain in California with Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. Speculation around the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's potential appearance at King Charles III's coronation had ramped up in recent weeks as they missed the RSVP deadline. Many believed both Harry and Meghan would attend, given the gravitas of the occasion, with Charles's crowning the first time such a royal affair had been witnessed since the early fifties. Meghan's decision to snub the event, though, has not come without controversy. Podcast host Kinsey Schofield told Express.co.uk that the Sussexes had no respect for the occasion. The Today for Daily presenter said, I think Harry and Meghan's behavior screams of entitlement. Robert Jobson's story of a 30-year-old man cursing at his elderly father over financing his wife's wardrobe is beyond champagne problems. It sounds ripped from a succession script. It's so hard for normal people to process. Even the idea of Meghan skipping the coronation. The Sussexes are entitled and have no respect for their elders or the monarchy. It is disappointing to see from two people that have been so incredibly blessed in their lives. The event will be held on May 6 at Westminster Abbey, and Harry is expected to stay at Frogmore Cottage, the home gifted to the Sussexes by Queen Elizabeth II. The timing of the occasion is problematic for both Harry and Meghan as Archie marks his fourth birthday on the day of the coronation itself. Many questioned the couple's attendance at the historic moment, particularly after scathing comments made in the Sussexes' Netflix documentary and Harry's autobiography Spare. They moved to the US in 2020, but have appeared sparingly in the UK, with Harry last in Britain in March to attend a four-day preliminary hearing in his privacy case.
disrespectful. Lizzie Cundy discloses Meg's blow to King to keep him from meeting with Archie and Lilibet. Meghan Markle has been accused of having no respect for the monarchy after it emerged, she would not be attending King Charles III's coronation next month. Buckingham Palace confirmed that the ex-working royal is set to remain in California as her and Prince Harry's son Prince Archie celebrates his fourth birthday. However, Lizzie, who claims that the Duchess cut contact with her